So at uh, Orimba Servo, I'm out here with uh, Jeep Dave, Kurt, Sebastian, and uh, we're following Sebastian along now. Ah, oh, not Sebastian, Kurt along, and see where we end up. I'm looking forward to it. It's supposed to be a beautiful day. It's uh, already quite warm, so all good. So Sunday morning, and uh, at Orimba. Sebastian, oh, he looks smart as always. Oh, that's him. Oh, I keep that thing actually, Sebastian. Leave that. Dave? Yes, your Dave is well hidden. Curdy, with some new battle scars from Coffs. Survive Cross Harbour and we're all back in one piece. Yeah. There you go, so we can call what we can call today in our rimba. And we'll see how it all goes. Good. Mm. Now just get up and take off it as well. transfer phase wasn't uh, properly locked in and slipped out so had to hold it in and um, put it properly in when I was uh, back on top there. You're gonna see some wheel lift now. Put your front locker on! Now. Woo. Is it right, front locker on? Nah, he wouldn't have gotten up there. Nah. His rear view was exactly where yours were. Right hand down. Right hand Right. Nice one. Yeah, I need to. If you're directing, Kurt, you can't just be doing that. You got to do you're left. Doing that and doing that. No, but not enough. You're doing it here. Point that way or that way. Not fucking this fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh. Yeah, that's good.
Sebastian, you've got to be 10 centimeters more to your left. Can I still make it up there or not? I don't think so. Uh, see whether you get traction somehow with the front if you wiggle. Yes, nice. Beautiful. Hell, it's going to chew out. Shit. Well, that, that, that step there was about half the size. I mean, obviously, that's the, uh, the easier line yeah. now. now. Yeah. Just once you're on top there, you drop in. Well, in the past, I've driven this line, but it's, it's kind of like. Uh, this step's probably about twice the height, you know. You kind of like out here, you know. I mean, I suppose if you get your left wheel on here, your vehicle's going to lift. And you, but doesn't doesn't it go down then? Not too bad. Well. I'll try this line anyway because I'm okay. curious to see how the, the vehicle handles. Okay, I'm watching, filming. Nice. I think the rear is going to drop in there. What do you say? Maybe it's going to make it get up there. Bushes. So after all that trouble, I take the hard line. You guys do the bloody weed line. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so people, unbelievable what yeah. rubbish people leave here. So uh, Sebastian, pick it up, take it the home. right thing, picking it up. So he didn't have a beer these. and a V for wake up. That's uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, that was Maria. Nice. Nice and slow with the big rock over
Come back, Sebastian. Hey. Road building helped. Oh, big on the slider. Just to film me, but I don't think I actually heard any noise, Steph. So you were just not hoping. Okay. It is on video that you're on the slider. We'll see in the video. The video tells no lies. Exactly. It's all to do with angle though as well, so a bit like, you know, yeah, offside. You were a bit off wall. angle and so on, but... That uh, was the angle I wanted to do. Was it a shit angle? No. It was a line, wasn't it? I wanted to go no. for the route. It was alright, but it could have... Yeah, not the route, but you, if you would have been... I on third. 20 centimetre further to your right, you wouldn't have sat on you the know, slider. The is I can't see out the bloody... That's the same track we just drove down, now back up. Yeah, Curdy is taking a more unusual line and uh, see what happens. slightly different line then um, that works quite well but he is on a really, um, interesting angle so we've got him to reverse a bit back and get back down um, just in case. as well Sebastian is patrol taking a more sensible line, especially as he has currently no working rear locker. Nice! Without a locker. Yeah, I thought I could drive up that rock, but uh, also didn't have the front locker in, so I'm just going around it, trying a different line. Leave him, Kurt. Leave him. I, I want to. That's what we want to see. What's an action shot? He said he'll call if he needs help. Did he roll his car? Stop there and film me, huh? Ooh. 
Sure. Curdy has joined an interesting Indian tribe <laughs> and he put his warrior paint on. That's right, to protect my nose from sunburn. <laughs> that looks very interesting. <laughs> yes. Good. I've got a big nose. Yes. So it's Sebastian's and Kurt's uh, panel beater shop here. <laughs> Kurt is uh, trying to straighten his uh, brush bars again. Oh, it's gonna. So. Yeah, but yeah. leave the tension off. I, I reckon it's gonna go back. Cool, keep pulling, keep pulling. Yeah, because at the moment you, I don't think you really start bending yet. I can't do it forward. <laughs> <laughs> Keep pulling, keep pulling. They're not as weak as you think those flush bars. Is it bending it a bit though? Okay. Let it go now. No, in oh. here. <laughs> Okay, so, Cody. Okay, the brush bar is now repaired after the rollover in Coffs Harbour. Thanks the to the two buddies. Winch. We, we waxed winch around it and we pulled it out nice and straight. So it's all, it's all good. Already get bent again. Thanks after that comment there. Yeah. We're going to leave this here because there's probably a good chance it'll get okay. bent on yeah. carnage in Coffs Harbour good. again. While we're on it, do you want to explain the other things as well? No. No, okay. Good. Okay. You can cut that. After lunch, we headed off to the next track, uh, making our way towards the can opener. That was a little side track, we, uh, which doesn't go anywhere, so we just drove it up and down pretty much. And that's Kurt here having the first go. You pretty much just try to drive up on the left hand side that big rock. Yeah. Oh. Okay, she's got such good um, steering, lock to lock. You just drive around there. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm planning to drive over it though. Then you would, I mean, you've got the option. I'm not saying it's the best one. I oh, see. So, uh, Kurt drove the same. Yeah, because he couldn't get up the other way. No, he banged every. Yeah, but he couldn't get up there. That's a line I was planning to drive up. Well, that is a special one. And over there. Oh, that's always going to be pretty easy. So you have to be careful about yourself. But it's constant improvement, and anything more by the better you get. Yeah, you would think, huh? I'm going to talk to you.
<laughs> Sebastian, you're a cameraman. My and, camera's flat. And your Basically camera is flat, spirits. and the second battery is home, At home. and the tripod is home. Uh, I've got the tripod. Yeah, you're well prepared, Mike. It's, it's got to get no traction here, is it? Sebastian. Sebastian, our hair camera says you're losing hair on the top. It's getting a bit uh, light there. Can you not film the back of my head or my nose on profile? <laughs> Full on, straight on. No Shit. profile shots, or otherwise you've got to Photoshop them. Oh, the a, nose is big though. smaller nose. Nose is big. Can't see the hair in the nose now. Oh. Um, smaller nose. I don't think. Mind you, they do say the size of the nose dictates the size of one's toes. Toes, oh. So in the background is Curdy. Doing a bit of reversey. And <laughs> Dave's been there. And Dave's <laughs> doing a bit of spotty. He tried to give up and give me the... Uh, I didn't. And we <laughs> f***ed it up as well. We were directing Kurt one way to come up. And Dave was trying to direct him to come Dave, down. Dave, is he coming up or do we come down? I'm not driving it. No, it'll be hard work. You'll see, the end of this will be tired. We'll I can't be, be bothered because my wheelbase also, I'm going to try to climb up there. Oh, you'd go that way, would you? No, no, here. But even if I go here, yeah. I'm going to try to oh, climb the, the front when I'm there. sitting in the rear. Your front one's going to be there. Yeah. Well, he's going to have the problem here and here as well. I think his rear wheel's going to be there. He's going to have a problem. He's coming, though. He's coming. Good. It's going to be a struggle stiff, yeah. up here, and you might have to winch at the top, yeah? I mean, I haven't got a problem, I'm happy, I enjoy watching you struggle, and Dave helping you struggle. <laughs> Dave struggling, watching you. Actually, he's in an air-conditioned car, you're the... While Kurt realigned himself uh, to uh, go the second trek up, uh, Dave gave it a quick go, and uh, did an absolutely brilliant drive. Um, yeah, pretty much drove it in one go as you will see now. Shit, he proves me wrong. Dave made the track look far easier than it is. Um, he picked an absolutely perfect line and his wheelbase also just fitted. Um, Kurt is giving uh, the second or the same line ago which um, Dave just drove uh, with far less success though. He's fucking bottomed out or something. Less of a, a rock step on the front end but it's going to be increased on the rear end. You know what I mean? This hill is really all about wheelbase and um, all three trucks of ours have different wheelbase so you have to climb two steps at the same time and that didn't really work for Kurt so we decided to winch him. Keep today. Yeah. Kurt's uh, synthetic uh, rope is only around eight months old, but he has never cleaned it and uh, has used it under muddy conditions, day on, day off, um, yeah, and without cleaning. Uh, we can see what can happen to that load. Um, there's also a little bit of shock uh, load involved, but I don't really think that is a decisive uh, factor. Okay. 
Shepard's truck was dangerously slipping into a horizontal position um, where he really could roll down the hill so we called a stop on this and uh, decided we uh, would uh, get Dave from the top to winch curd up so Dave is hooked up to the tree tension sets a bit now now he's going to winch curd up that's curd's winch cable snapped I was pretty sure that my wheelbase wouldn't be very beneficial at the top steps but uh, I thought I'd give it a go anyway and um, make my way up there it's not that much traction to be found there the dirt is uh, pretty dry but quite deep um, and you always have uh, quite a few boulders uh, mixing it As I didn't get anywhere and it was uh, getting late, I also decided to winch up uh, so that we could get uh, to the can opener. It was 38 degrees. We were mucking around there for by then probably around two hours in the heat and um, yeah we're all a bit over it. Got back up with Sebastian, who uh, didn't uh, go up that hill after Kurt and myself winching, uh, and he not having a rear locker, and um, yeah, navigating a bit uh, sharp turn here, and um, heading towards the can opener. Now we're approaching the can opener and uh, Kurt um, having the first go at the bottom steps.
Oh, Dave, 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 you, you're hanging your diff up there, you're banging your diff. Ready? Then go to the top, take some pictures.